you are listening to Bedtime Dreamy Tales. Please make sure you have subscribed to our channel for new story. Story title, The Father and His Sons. In, in the verdant lands of Eldoria, there dwelled a venerable farmer named Eldert, blessed with the land fertile and vast, yet burdened with the sorrow deep and unyielding. His heart was heavy, not with the toil of the earth, but with the ceaseless discord among his sons, five in number, each strong and spirited, yet their spirits were marred by relentless quarrels and rivalry. From dawn till dusk, their voices rose not in harmony, but in vehement dispute over matters trivial and profound. Eldred, with his hair silvered by the passage of years, had long sought to mend the rifts that fractured his family. He imparted wisdom and tales of unity, hoping to ignite a spark of brotherhood that might warm their frostbitten relations. Yet, his words, like seeds on barren soil, failed to take root. The discord remained, a persistent shadow darkening the threshold of his home. One morning, as the sun rose, painting the sky in hues of gold and crimson, Eldred summoned his sons. Bring forth a bundle of sticks, he commanded, his voice echoing with an authority that brooked no refusal. The brothers, curious and somewhat bewildered, complied, gathering sticks from the surrounding woods until they had amassed a faggot sizable and bound tightly with twine. Once the task was completed, Eldred called his sons to the courtyard. He placed the bundle into the hands of his eldest, a man of strength renowned, and spoke, break it. The son strained against the bundle, his muscles taut and veins bulging, yet the faggot remained unyielding, intact. One by one, each son attempted the feat, their efforts as futile as those before. Eldred, with a gesture deliberate and measured, untied the twine and loosened the bundle, scattering the sticks before his sons. Now, break them, he instructed. And so, with ease that bordered on the effortless, each stick was snapped, fractured, by hands that moments before could not as much as bend the collective might of the faggot. The sons stood, a mix of confusion and realization dawning upon their faces, as Eldred gathered them. My sons, he began, his voice imbued with the gravity that commanded their undivided attention, witnessed the power of unity and the frailty of division. Together, as one, you are invincible, strong as this bundle that defied your individual strength. Apart, you are as these sticks, easily broken, vulnerable to the whims of fate. His words hung in the air, a lesson profound in its simplicity. If you stand united, assisting and supporting each other, no adversity can prevail against you. But if you let discord and rivalry sever the bonds of brotherhood, you will fall as easily as these sticks did to the slightest force. In the days that followed, Eldred's lesson lingered in the hearts and minds of his sons. The quarrels that once were as constant as the flowing river began to ebb, replaced by a burgeoning sense of camaraderie and mutual respect. Tasks were shared, disputes settled with words of understanding rather than voices raised in anger. The farm, once a battleground of wills, flourished as never before. His fields yielded harvests abundant, a testament to the power of unity. The transformation was not immediate, nor was it without its challenges. Yet, each brother had felt the weight of a single stick in their hand and the impossibility of breaking the bound faggot. This tangible lesson, a metaphor for their own lives, had sown the seeds of change. As seasons turned and years unfurled, the story of Eldred and his sons became a tale recounted across Eldoria, a parable of unity and strength. And though Eldred himself passed into the annals of time, his legacy endured, a testament to the enduring power of unity in the face of division. Thus, the farmer who sought to mend the rifts within his family had not only healed the discord among his sons but had also bestowed upon them, and the land a wisdom eternal, in unity their strength.